Three years ago, I was a week from Natchez burning as I initially saw it. Pulled onto Highway 61 and got hit by a girl going 70 miles an hour. And I came about as close to dying as you can come. The main result of that was that it caused me to just stop and reevaluate everything I was doing in my life and primarily the novel I was writing. This was a novel about race, about family, about the South, and I realized that one book was never going to contain that story. And that is what caused Natchez Burning to become merely the first volume in an epic trilogy about the South and a Southern family. Natchez Burning features Penn Cage, who's the mayor of Natchez and a former prosecutor from Houston, Texas, and most notably his father, Tom, who's appeared in some previous novels. Tom, I think of as an Atticus Finch with a medical degree. He's much like my own father who died during the writing of this novel. Tom Cage is charged with murder. We first think he may have euthanized an African-American nurse that we find that he loved. In the trilogy, Penn is forced to reevaluate everything he ever believed about himself, his father, his family, the South, his own prejudice. I think it's that that pulls people through a novel that takes us almost on a tour of some of the most difficult years in the 1960s. A few years ago, I became aware that there was an ultra-secret, ultra-violent splinter cell of Ku Klux Klan across the river from Natchez. It involved Mississippi and Louisiana Klansmen, and they were very deadly and intent on stopping civil rights being enacted in the real world. While Natchez Burning deals with violent racism in the South, it also points up the difficult reality that racism is an American phenomenon and none of us are immune to prejudice.